uh, as an old castle church, um, it is the only building of this type in Latvia. Uh, another interesting detail is uh, this uh, staircase. And even more interesting is uh, that um, this is called a teal staircase. And uh, this staircase, uh, uh, you can uh, get second and third floor of, uh, of castle. And so, but now uh, let's go inside. As you know, uh, people has five senses. Uh, sight, hearing, uh, touch, taste, and smell. And I want to assure that this castle is the place where you can enjoy uh, all these five senses. So let's go and try. Welcome to Wellsdown Castle, where the von Rosen family uh, lived and ruled for several centuries. Uh, the last owner has, uh, was Baron Hans von Rosen, who left the uh, Wellsdown before the Second World War in 1939. And we will start uh, the tour in Baron's dining room. When uh, you will visit us in person, here we will offer some uh, film clips um, because uh, in several film studios have, uh, have taken uh, historical movies in our castle. Uh, one uh, another possibility is um, that we offer you uh, maps or, or room plans, and your uh, exercise or your task is to find 10 checkpoints on the first, uh, first and uh, second floors. And uh, believe me, it's not so easy as it looks uh, because uh, no one um, uh, said that uh, this castle is like a maze. So, uh, well, we will look at the Baron's sounds and uh, like this. Nowadays, we have transformed the uh, salon in the uh, exhibition hall. So just uh, come and look and enjoy details of the exhibition. Hello, we have a guest. Oh, may I join you? Yes, come and join. Hello, I'm enjoying some pastries and coffee. Yes, uh, as I told, uh, this castle is a castle where you can, uh, 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 what you can enjoy uh, also with your face. That's one possibility because here in Straupen we have even three very good bakeries. So you're lucky. Uh, but they may, mm, can you tell about your, yourself, what you are doing here, and um, how you enjoy this uh, castle? It's your third time here? My third time, yes. Okay. Yeah. So, now it's your turn. Okay. Yeah, so, as I said, this is my third time. I am actually an American Latvian. I was born and raised in America. 
in California, and just recently I moved to Latvia. Um, and I found Straupe, and it's beautiful. And it's just so exciting to learn and see more of what Straupe has to offer. So as I'm sure Ella has told you a lot about the Von Rosen family, here we have a few pictures that you can see of the family when you come and visit. And now we'll continue with the tour of the rest of our castle. This year we entered back into the main entrance of our castle. And before us, we have the main staircase that leads upstairs where we're going to where the key will be going. Um, as we go up the stairs, you can see pictures on the wall. They're from a local artist, who a local photographer, who lives right here in Stelva. And every year on Christmas, she goes out and takes pictures of what she sees. And these are some of the beautiful pictures that she has captured, all right here. And as we continue to the second floor, we go into the Baron's Ballroom. This is the one that was the ballroom. Back in his days, he loved hosting parties and having guests here. And this would be this would be their main uh, visiting parlor. When the castle became a hospital, then this became a recreation room at the course home where some patients were able to uh, use all their talents uh, in their therapy. So the castle became a hospital in 1963, uh, where they mostly helped uh, treat alcoholics. There were some other people as well, but it was mostly about alcoholics. And a lot of these patients were musicians, artists, actors, writers, scientists. And as you can see on this back wall, this is some of the work that these patients completed during their time here. Some of the other patients, such as the musicians, they composed their work. And a lot of their works were performed in the church that's connected. Because during that time, the church was converted into a concert hall. It was actually one of the nicest concert halls in Latvia. And now we'll enter into the hospital of the castle. Here we have to start entering seeing a lot of the beds and the rooms where patients were treated. The hospital was at most capacity in the seventh of the capacity from the 70s and 80s with 150 patients at the time. All the beds were full and they even set up beds in the bedroom ballroom because there was just not enough space for it. A lot of the treatments that were used during this time wasn't just medication. They were also used with treatments such as hypnosis. They used 
for therapy. And they also use conditioned reflux therapy. And that's like these. This is when some patients, they came in and they were withdrawing because they had to be held down, they had to be restrained, they were brought to these type of beds. There's oxygen, there's, they can be tied down, but it's for their own safety. And here we have a relaxation room where patients could come, they could read, they could eat, play cards. We also have a you know, notice table. For those of you who don't know, notice is a very popular game of latte was created here. It's similar to billiards in a way, but it's a smaller table and you have little, little small round pieces. A lot of what you see in the hospital board has not changed since the hospital closed in 2018. A lot of it remains exactly the same. All the beds that you see are the original beds that were used during that time. And as we continue, if you remember, Ellen had mentioned the thieves staircase that is on the outside of the building. So we're going to take a little before I go up these stairs. These stairs were also built in 1907 after the fire. And it's used to connect the second and third floors from the outside. And walking up these stairs is also a very beautiful view of the, of the castle. This third floor that we're going up to was also only built after the fire in 1907. This was originally built as a guest wing for the Von Rosen family guests. There were bedrooms that they could all use when they had parties and, and gatherings. When it became a part of the hospital, this, this third floor was the women floor. Only the women would be allowed on the third floor. And as you can see, a lot of these beds are a lot nicer than what were downstairs.
So a lot of, as we started, I said, a lot of the beds in the women's ward are a little nicer because they found that for women, it took a little bit longer to go through the treatment and to, to become healthy again. So most of the beds were nicer. Some of them couldn't always get all the nicer beds. And another way that patients could rest and relax while they were going through treatment was in the library, reading some books. In this at library that we're entering, it is the original location of the Von Rosen Library when the castle was originally built. Unfortunately, during the fire in 1907, the whole tower was was burned, and all the books and documents and archives of the family were also burned down. This library that we see now is what is left over from the hospital. When you come and visit, you can also look through and read all these books. You can take a seat in one of the little alcoves and just relax. Well, one thing I didn't mention when we were walking through the beds, if you visit during the summer, one thing that you also notice is the scent of the hospital still lingers. And so that's another way that you can experience all senses. So next we're going to go up into the tower of the castle, uh, where you'll be able to see a beautiful view. One fun fact about this castle, 110 years ago, the Baron von Rosen pulled water into the castle so that there would be running water and running toilets, which was a very big thing for countryside uh, castles and homes. Now well, you see this is the water reservoir for the for the showers and toilets and running water. See that on three sides of the tower there are blocks that are currently not working. But you can see the inside mechanics, how they look. What's interesting, the, the man who installed these clocks, this professional is not only a clock master, but also a photographer and a dentist. The number of stairs is not which I was really worth thinking about. Yeah, 
that uh, this is a castle where you can uh, what you can uh, do, uh, enjoy with all your five senses yes you agree i agree you can taste some cakes you can smell the hospital see the beautiful views and hear hear all the historical <laughs> information and uh, that yes you can touch all the books you can touch all the beds that are left yes Yes. Yes. So it's a much more hands-on. Finish. Oh, we look forward to you visiting our castle here in Philadelphia. Thank you so much for your call. All in those of us. Thank you. Thank you.